1949 Styline Deluxe. Uh, has original 52,000 original miles. Car was originally restored 25 years ago in Chicago. Uh, a light restoration, nothing crazy, just one, one spray. Uh, everything else on the car was done here locally in Miami. All the chrome was re-chromed at Hialeah plating. Most of the fabrication on the air ride was done by uh, Florida Hot Rods. Mario at Florida Hot Rods did uh, most of the air ride. And the rest of the work was done by me here locally in-house. Here, I'll show you the rest of the car. The interior is all original. Other than the AC, everything else is original. All the accessories, I installed the AC. I converted the car to 12 volt. The upholstery is all original. Yeah, the upholstery is all original on the door panels, the suede headliner, the carpet. Everything is original with the exception of the hump that we did for the tunnel. I picked up this car locally in Kendall and uh, it was owned by uh, a gentleman that uh, had a body shop and did a deal with the original owner. Uh, they traded labor and uh, he had the car parked in the backyard for about two, three years uh, without running. Uh, no gas, no battery, the transmission was stuck. The car was just abandoned in the backyard. Uh, I worked out a deal with him and right before we finalized the deal I was able to actually drive the car out of the guy's backyard. Uh, Eddie and I were able to disengage the tranny and get the car running and, and drove it like that straight from Kendall all the way to Miami. Once we got back to Miami then uh, I had to take it all apart. It needed a lot of work. And the engine was completely rebuilt from the, inside the, out. The, 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 engine, the engine has been restored cosmetically. The actual motor itself has the original 50,000 original miles. Wow. Yeah, cosmetically, it's been repainted. Uh, intake and the exhaust manifold has been powder coated by Ronnie powder coating. Um, other than that, the, the motor's all original. Uh, it is a three on the column. So the transmission is a three on the column and it has an electronic overdrive. So I have an electronic fourth gear. That's what allows me to cruise uh, at 60, 65 with no problem. Wow. So these cars came originally with a push button. Um, the ignition is just an on and off. And then you start push button. Wow. And it's obvious to see that the car is sitting very low and it's on airbags. Correct, so the full suspension is accurate. It has an accurate management system with SLAM specialty bags. So I can show you, so I have the wireless management system for Accuware. So I, I control it off the app. So three is the highest. I only use three like when I'm going in and out of a parking lot. My ride height is two. That's wow. my ride height right there. And then one is the lowest I can cruise on the expressway without hitting anything other than reflectors. And then this is parked, slammed to the ground. Wow, that was nice, man. Uh, other than that, the suspension, the rest of the suspension is original. Uh, still rides on drum brakes. I have drum brakes all around. Still the original drum brakes completely restored. Uh, it has full exhaust from front to back. And I see this car has an immense amount of details that you have put into it to make it more unique, to make it yours. Is that front vent visor? What is this called, vent visor? Yeah, so it's a front visor. It is an, it, it's not an original visor. So back in, in the 40s and 50s, you, you can put so many accessories to your cars. Uh, it's not like now that you just go into a dealer and just pick out a car and you can't really customize it to your taste. 
Uh, back in the 40s and 50s, they would give you a booklet uh, with all the accessories that you can buy. Uh, the visor was an accessory, the reverse lights were an accessory, turn signals were an accessory, fog lamps, uh, vent visors. Yeah, so like the corners, the wraparound corners, the towers, the license plate frame, those are all accessories that they used to sell you back in the 40s and 50s. So the trunk is all original, original liners, original tub covers. Uh, the paint in the trunk is the original green. Uh, the trunk, the engine bay, and the door jams have not been painted. It's all the original paint from 1949. I didn't tub the car, so it has the original tubs. All we did was the doghouse and we tried to keep it as small as possible so I can keep the original trunk and the original spare. Over here we have a little store that says safety. It looks more like a, like a cop from back on the, in the yeah. 50s. Yeah, so it was a, it, it's called a safety star. It, it was an accessory uh, back in the 50s and 60s are really into safety. So I have them hooked up with my lights and even these license plate toppers, the lights are an accessory from back, of, back in the 50s with a jewel. So these are called artillery wheels. Um, they, ha they have been painted to match the car and pinstriped. Uh, with a 48 hubcap, 1948 hubcap. It's ha they have a radial white walls on there from Diamondback. All around? Yeah. No, the two fronts. Oh, the two the, in the, the two, front. The two in the front are my artillery. The back, I just run stocks because you barely <laughs> see the back rim. Rob, thank you so much, man. You have a beautiful court. Thank you. Anything else that you want to tell us? No, just, uh, you know, if there's more people out there in Miami that want to do videos with you to hit you up because, you know, there's a lot of cars out here in Miami that are still hidden in garages that we haven't seen. That's true. I agree. I agree. Thank you so much, man, for giving us the opportunity to film your car. Thank you.